Hi, in this video we will see how to create, configure and test a web service in SAP. So first we will create a function model using transition code SCAT. Then we will create a function model in SC37. Third, we will configure the web service in transition SOA manager. And here for the testing I am using a SOAP UI. So you can test the web service using SOAP UI. So let's start with the first SCAT. Enter T code as SC80. Select function group. Let's give some name as a for underscore FG. Press enter. Full font display. So this function does not exist so let's create the function group first text function group for web service save as local uh, we'll give some package here now web service is created right click on the function group and activate now create a function module go to sc37 give the web service name click on create give the function group give some description basic web service first in the attribute tab we have to select this radio button as a remote enable now we'll take three parameter let's say ip underscore this is the basic, very basic web service let's say type scare 10 IP underscore first name third IP underscore last name right, care forty. Now in export we'll take one string IP underscore name type string now for the source code so we'll just concatenate all the title first and last name and we'll show in the ep underscore name so this is just to show how to create configure and test web service so i'm not uh, doing any big coding in this video concatenate ip underscore title IP underscore first name IP underscore last name into export parameter EP underscore name separated by space test the web service for kernel per I am entering here test it so you can see the output in the ep underscore name so here we have created we have created a function group then we have created the function model one more step is there here create web service in the same t code se37 So now we have finished uh, first two steps. So now we'll create the function uh, web service in S37 only. Now here in the utilities in a bar, 
click on more utilities create web service form function model give some service definition so web service underscore name basic web service for test click on continue click on continue we'll use basic authentication with user id and password click continue give the package name select the request if you want to transfer it so we'll store in the same request click continue complete so this web service we have created zws underscore name so as we have sele uh, selected a basic authentication so in the configuration tab here authentication is there so we can see as low okay just save and activate now as we have created this web service from sc37 if we want to check this web service then we have to again come to SCAT select our package name set app click on display here you can see the enterprise services click on service definition so here we can see our service which we just created okay so now we are done with the third step now we'll configure the web service in the transition code soa manager Enter the user ID and password. Click on web service configuration. Enter the object name as ZWS underscore name. Click on search. Now we can see our service here. Click on this. So now there is no service binding here so we have to create a binding so click on create service enter the service name web service for name we will enter the same name as binding click on next icon here in the authentication the transport channel authentication select user id and password click on next next and finally click on here we can see the function model name from which we have created this web service ws underscore name click on finish so we can see the status is active now we require a ws build file if you are if you want to use this web service through a non sap system so we have to provide them the WSDL file so for that click on here open web service WSDL generation save WSDL click ok click yes so here is the URL name so to uh, see the WSDL file click on this execute icon now this is the XML format. We have to save this in the WSDL with W extension. Click on file. Save as just add the extension dot WSDL. Okay, so I'm saving on the desktop. So here the WSL file is we have saved on the desktop. So now we have done with SCAT, SC37, created web series, SC37. 
we have also configured it in SM Manager. Now let's assume that we are using a third party tool uh, SOAP UI. So we have to test this web service in the uh, SOAP UI. So here I have installed my SOAP UI 3.0. So we we'll just open our SOAP UI. Click on File, Select New SOAP Project. Now here we have to upload the digital file. Set a desktop a file name is set here is my file zwsd underscore name click on open okay so we can see here the wsdl file is imported so expand this icon here the request soap request method is there double click on this request so we can see all the import parameter which was there in the web service so we can see the import parameter here first name last name title okay so we we'll put the same here mr first name zephyr last name so as we have given the uh, user id password as the authentication so for the testing purpose we have to add the authentication click here authentication and security related settings select add new authorization select the basic click ok here we have to provide the sap user id and password now this is the test icon this is the submit icon click here so here we can see the output ep underscore name so in this way we have done our very basic testing of creator creation configuration and the testing of web service